as it happens, I don't think you are thinking straight. She is not your patient, she's your daughter. And I know what's best for her. Joel has asked me to marry him and I've said yes. Oh my God, Jeffrey. Sorry for your dad, Liv. I'm really going to Mexico for a whole year. You have to keep me here, really. I should have told him I love her. You are a very sweet girl. But it was obvious it was never going to last. I'll set up a conference with Mark, then we'll sort out accommodation and airfares. To where? Timaru. A couple of weeks' discovery should do it. Weeks? Well, three at the outside. Fine. Back in my own place with my own couch and my own telly. My best mates and the girl I'm in love with. Except. <laughs> Are you taking enough? It's only a couple of weeks. She's leaving. I don't even know what I'll need in Timaru. Probably not this one. <laughs> she says it'll give us a chance to work out what we want. Even though I know I want her. No, it won't close. Actually, her going away is a good thing, cause. Oh shit! They say love hurts. <laughs> oh no. Not another headache. I didn't think they meant it literally. Looks intense. Is this happening all the time? Yeah. No, only at certain times. Morning. Good morning. I'm coming through. Close your eyes, okay? Closed. Kevin, did you talk to the doctor again? Yeah, he reckons it'll pass. If I never get stressed or think about sex. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry I'm late. Uh, we had a meeting with Dad's lawyers. Oh, hey, are you okay? His will is out of probate. Oh, babe. Uh, at least his estate has finally been settled. Poor Liv. Turns out my sisters and I are the sole beneficiaries. When you miss your alts, nothing can really help, eh? I just inherited over a million dollars. Except maybe that. So take a piece of my heart, babe. And take a piece of my heart, babe. Because there's no one in the world that can do it better than you can. Take a piece of my heart, babe. Our little love nest. I not, don't even care that I've lost the man I love, but I've been left with nothing because Lenora's an ass. Oh, do you mean Joffrey was an ass? How can you speak ill of the dead? I said he was an ass when he was alive too. Joffrey wrote the will, not the law. But we were about to be engaged. It's a count if you steal the ring off a corpse. You monsters, the pair of you, heartless. Don't hear you sparing a thought for Carol. What about her? I'm fine. 20 years keeping his house and raising his kids. He doesn't even leave her a cent. Oh, my darling. Hello? She got half the house when he left her. And the Lardro. Jeffrey didn't like the Lardro. And it turns out he had pots more money than she knew. Snaky beggar. It was very tight. Oh, well, I've had just about enough of this. I am going to work. Unlike some people, I have to. Fran McMahon. Okay. You've landed on your feet, Mr. Millionaire. Should have snapped Olivia up when I had the chance. What chance? Miss Stark, my dearest friend. Might I say you are luminous today? No, Leo. To what? To whatever it is you were going to ask for. But I need a new car. You're hilarious. Just a tinsy, wincy Japanese car. What do you say? I say, have you finished that copy yet? Fine. Give all your money to the bludgeon muso. I don't bludge. <sighs> What's this thing? Dear government funded agency, please give me thousands of dollars so I may make horrible music on my guitar that nobody wants to listen to. Actually, this is to get us to New York because we have been accepted into a festival. Wow, in that case, is it a one-way ticket? Leo, will you do something for me? Anything, my esteemed colleague. Bugger off for a while. Now 
that you have money, we could stop doing the magazine and we would never have to see that guy ever again. I like the magazine, it's my baby. What about your other baby? Can you prove this for me? I have to post it by tomorrow. Actually, I, I gotta go, I'll do it later. It's emergency shopping, is it? Uh, I wish, a uh, friendly oncologist. Right, shit, sorry. It's results day. Yep. It'll be fine. I say you can have health, wealth, and love, but not all three at the same time. Who says that? I don't know. Someone? Some ass. Possibly. Let's see. Brain. Right? Oh, hey, friend. <laughs> I think it could work. Here I am, at the commercial listing in Hurstmere Road, and out walks is Nancy Ping with Brave Caulfield. And she's her stupid catchphrase. Nancy Ping, not her thing. Which doesn't even make sense. What thing does she know? Wait, wait, wait. Brad. Ah, oh, Braddy! A long streak of piss. And Nancy Ping swoops on him like a vulture in a cheap polyester pantsuit. Brad's back. Yes, he's back. Ooh. Ah! And buying property from Nancy Bloody Ping. Oh, my God. Brad's back. 100%. Three more years till I'm officially in remission, but so far so good. Oh, it's wonderful <laughs> news, darling. I know. Champagne? <laughs> Is it a bit early? Probably, but what the heck. I'll go. <laughs> oh, I'm so very happy for you. And your sisters. Is there anything you need? Anything at all? Honestly, darling, I'm fine. But there is one thing you could do now that would make me very happy. OK. Marry Joel. I have already said yes. Yeah. But now you can set a date and, and do it properly with all the bells and whistles. And your sisters will be able to fly out for the occasion. I guess so. And what would Geoffrey think about you spending his money on marrying your shaggy musician? Mum. Sorry, darling. He's your father and you loved him. But he did expect his girls to marry doctors and lawyers at the very least. Well, I like to think that he'd be happy that I'm happy. Yes, let's be generous. What's this? A toast to Olivia's health and wealth and a wonderful wedding happening very soon. Count me in. Shit, eh? Bradley's back. Why hasn't he given me a call? Hello? Why hasn't he given me a call? Maybe because he doesn't want to see you. But I'm not dumb enough to say that out loud. Do you really think he doesn't want to see me? Shit. I, I got a bit confused, eh? <laughs> no, maybe you're right, because why hasn't he called me, and why did he see Nancy Ping instead of my mum? Boss. Because, this is my theory, he's protecting himself. I hurt him so badly that he doesn't want to see any of us. He's avoiding me and my friends and my family. Oh. I feel so terrible. And I've just found something else that gives me a headache. I'm going to call him. He might not be brave enough to answer when he sees that it's me, but I can leave a message and tell him that I am so... Hi. Hi. Brad! <gasps> I tried to stop you leaving, but your mother told me to let you go. I thought you didn't care. You didn't email or call or send a postcard? Because the thought of seeing you had hurt too much. I'm so sorry, Brad. Brad. Sorry I'm late. Hi. It's good to see you. Oh, no sweat. You look good. Brad, is that a tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> you hate needles. Obviously not. Oh, double short black. Glass of water on the side. Duh. Hope the coffee's not as bad as I remember. Did you have a good trip? Well, South America was incredible. Can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so much has happened since you left. Um, I'm a mum now. I have a daughter. Yeah, I heard. You did? Hey, is it true Kev moved to the Wops with Amanda? Um, no, uh, yeah, uh, they're not together anymore. Um, actually, Kevin just got out of hospital. Why? What happened? Amanda's dad and brother's bit him up. Jesus, that's... Terrible, I know. 
But you know, he has us looking after him, or except when I'm not busy with my company. Or Kev. Oh, I know. I'm going there later if you want to come. Excuse me. Break off, Phil. Hey. Now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to take off. Now? Yeah. Uh, I really wanted to catch up, but busy, busy. <laughs> Can we make that coffee to go? He was so different, he even looks different. It has been a while, I guess. And he's got a tattoo. That happens. Cody, I think he hates me. Well, because he's got a tattoo? No, because I broke his heart, had a baby with somebody else, and he hates me. You broke up almost two years ago. But scars run deep. How would you explain the fact that he's avoiding us all? Hey, Bristol. Hey. Who's that? Uh, I'm with Gib. Who's he talking to? You've been having a rough time. Hey. Sorry, bro, I can't quite hear you, eh? Is it Amy? I don't think so. Sorry, is this a bad time? Oh, sweet, just got coats here. Oh, what was it then? Say hi from me. Hi from Brad. Oh, g'day. Who are you saying g'day to? Uh, no one. We need to catch up. Make a dent in my duty free. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to drink right now, eh? Is that because of the headaches? Pardon? Nothing. <laughs> oh, my landline's ringing. It might be Brad. You, yeah, maybe. Hello? Mobiles go straight to voice. Because I'm on it. Oh, tell him I should catch up with him at the tacker. Do you hear that? Yeah, and I'm up for it. Who are you talking to? You. Uh, you. Not, not you, Leo. Cody, who's going to the tacker? Huh? Yeah, me too. This is off the sick bed, eh? Oh. Sick couch. Cody! Yeah. Sorry, Leo, did I yell in your ear? No, no, I just ate cat food. Uh, I should go Brits. Uh, Kev needs me. I'll drop in sometime. Yeah, nice one. <coughs> OK, bye. See ya. Bye. Oh, all right then, bye. Ah, uh, not you. Hi, Fran. I've gathered my belongings. The spare keys are on the bench and the carriage door opener. If there's anything of Dad's you want to keep. I don't want things, Olivia. I just want the man I love back. But actually, I will take that vase. Oh, of course. These cushions were always much more my taste than his. I'm so sorry. It's my sisters who want to sell. Three against one. Our little love best. The memories of Jeffrey. You will give me the listing, won't you? Of course. Okay. Now what? Uh, I guess I go through everything. Make a pile for storage, a pile for sitting mission, and one for rubbish. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this gorgeous girl! <laughs> They <clears throat> kept all my old school reports. Really? Yeah, look, there's a folder for each of us. Certificates. I must have really been proud of you guys. <laughs> old father's the card I made him. Oh, newspaper clippings, all my old stories from the chronic. He's um corrected your spelling and grammar? Every time. Just why I have impeccable spelling and I know how to use an apostrophe. What the hell? What's that? Bad report card. You could say that. He's been taking notes for years. As if you were projects instead of daughters. Yeah, only one was a major disappointment. Oh, Liv, I'm sure he didn't mean it quite like that. Olivia choosing an arts degree and major disappointment. Look, that was years ago. And you did so well in New York. And not according to Dad. Oh, God, this is just what he did. He used to critique the meals I made. Don't let me get started about the sex. No, oh, don't worry, I won't. Forget this rubbish. Forget that my father thought I was a failure. He didn't. 
using mother's fragile state as excuse to stay in country. Query, hiding failure? We both know he was wrong. Yeah, but I'm not a doctor or an engineer or a biologist. Your sisters don't have a hit pop record, do oh, they? It's not a hit, Mum. It went to number two on the New Zealand indie charts, which, let's face oh, it... Oh, Olivia, stop it. You are smart and talented. You never needed your father's approval before, and you certainly don't need it now. Three against one. Yep. Yeah. Dave's not a small bloke, if you know what I mean. And I really don't want to talk about it. So, uh, tell us about your travel stories, eh? Okay. Oh, shit. Now I have to listen to boring travel stories. I had a near-death experience of my own, actually. We were on this shitty old bus going to Mexico. Three guys jumped on. They had guns. No bullshit. Made all the men get off the bus and lie face down in the sand. Knock, knock. Only me. Hello again. Um, I bought you a pie. Oh, sweet tart. Probably better than the liquid lunch I brought around. And as soon as I'm off those painkillers, I am so in there, I mean. <laughs> so it's good you're here because you can meet my baby girl. Brad, this is Hero. Hero, this is Brad. Hero. Miss Shakespeare? No. <laughs> McMahon. <laughs> Anyhow, I gotta keep moving. Yeah, cool. But we're on for a drink or five. As soon as you're back on your feet. I am psyched. <laughs> See you, mate. <sighs> He's different, right? Yeah, but I guess... So what did you get me? Steak and cheese... Kev, stay here. Like I got a choice. Hey, my pie! Brad, wait! You don't have to leave because of me. I wasn't. I'm really sorry about what happened when we broke up. I tried to find you the morning you left. I went to your house, but you'd already gone to the airport and your mother said to let it go, and... I did... let it go. You did the right thing. Well, not if you hate me. Who said I hate you? It's obvious. If you can't hang around us. Oh, I've just been hanging out with Kevin. Well, what about Nancy Ping? I don't really want to hang out with Nancy Ping. I mean, why did you get her to show you property and not my mum? Britta, <laughs> it's cool. We're different people now. But you've got a kid. And you're with the dad, Leo, right? Yeah. But only because... What? Um, because? I don't hate you. Breaking up, leaving the shore, it was the best thing that could have happened to me. Oh, really? <laughs> I was such a dick. No. I'd only ever slept with four women, and three of them were from the same high school. Yeah, well, what does that matter? Well, I'm just saying. Anyway. What does that mean there's been more than four? No, I've spent the last two years in a South American monastery, high in the Andes. Please don't mock me. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway. So, are we talking double digits? Let's just say you can add a zero. Forty? You slept with forty women? See you around. Brad, wait. <sighs> I'm not interested in rehashing the past, Britta. Yeah, well, neither am I. Great. I'll tell her. Britta, you were meant to take Kevin some lunch. Oh, crap. <laughs> I bought him this pie, but then I forgot to give it to him. Pies are important, but it's not worth crying over. <laughs> I saw Brad again. Oh, love. Oh, she's still smitten by our Braddy. No, I'm not. Brad's a bastard. Yes, he is. Tell us something we don't know. Dealing with Nancy Ping. You need a nice glass of gin. That's what you need. I can't. I have to go and be a fairy for a five-year-old in Milford. The bawling fairy. I'm sure you'll be a hit. It's sleep deprivation. That's why we used to put bread in the baby bottles. You didn't. I never did you or candy any harm. You go. Take a moment before you get changed. We've got here. You right? cannot put brandy in her bottle. She's teasing. You go. <laughs> Mummy's upset. Mummy's lovesick. 
She said he's a bastard. Well, you know bugger all about women, don't you? What about poor Kevin and his lunch? One of you lot will have to go. I'm not giving up my baby time. We've got plans. Kevin's in pain. He can't move. Well, why don't you take him some of my muffins then? That'll cheer him up. I'm going. Good for you. Oh. If you haven't got an up-to-date will, you should get one. Mm. Especially now that you've left what's the name What would happen if you suddenly dropped dead? I'd get some peace and quiet. That woman you married could gleefully take everything you oh. own. That's what. They're a bit dry, aren't they? My mother can't bake. I'm sure it's a lesbian thing. Hold on. These are Jan's muffins. You want some butter? Uh oh. No, I'm good. You do know what Jan puts in them muffins, eh? Spinach and feta, isn't it? Oh, Fran, um, I don't think having two of those things is such a good idea, eh? <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't even have one, but who cares if I get fat? The man I loved has gone to a better world, and I've got nothing to show for it. Calories be damned. And and home. Totally. Well, maybe it should be on the keyboards. Oh, look, let's drop this one. It's kind of average. Kind of average? Ouch. That stuff your old man wrote. Want to talk about it? What I want is a drink. Or uh, you could channel that into a song. Dad, you make me sad. And that is so sad. That's all right. I'm still thinking drink. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You are red, you know. Thanks. I don't even know why I'm surprised. I mean, he was always like, 96% on an exam. Why didn't I get 100? You got 96% in something. I was swatty. Not swatty enough. Well, you love what you do. That's more than a lot of people can say. Yeah, but do I love to do it? Yes. Or am I just doing it to give Dad the middle finger? You might be overthinking that. Yeah, well, either way, he's still pulling the strings. 40 women. Well, yeah, I guess he had some catching up to do. He must have started on the plane. And all this time, I've been sitting here on the shore missing him, being a complete nun. One OJ, please. Uh, Valhalla, oh, you're right. It's true. I've had sex once since Brad left. One time. <laughs> Horse shit. And it was only to bring on labour. You and Leo have only ever rooted twice. Once. Twice? Once. I think I would know, Cody. I was there and you weren't. So, Hero was like an immaculate conception. What? What? <laughs> You're confusing me. No, I'm confused. I've never been good with numbers. Not even one and two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you rooted Leo to bring on the labour, who did you root to bring Leo. on the pregnancy? Leo! Britta. Leo! 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 Oh! You what? Know, you know what we always thought was weird? That Pluto and Goofy are both dogs, but one of them could speak, walk on two legs and wear human clothes when the other one lived in a dog house. Because I know, I think that's totally weird. You were drinking OJ at Kevin's wedding. I was really hungover. Or you were already up the duff. No, 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 please don't tell anyone. Holy flaming shitballs on toast. Kevin. I only found out the day he and Amanda were getting married. Kevin! And I didn't want to ruin their wedding or his life, so I just... Lied? When he left Amanda, I wanted to tell him, but he was all, I hate babies and children, I never want to have any. He was? I'm paraphrasing. The thing is, nobody knows, and I really think it would be best if it stayed that way. <sighs> so, you and Leo, what is that, a, a fake relationship? No, maybe, I don't know. We don't have sex, even though he wants to. He really wants to. And Kev's happy. Well, he will be, you know, when he can walk and breathe properly again and things. He wants things back how they were, and that doesn't include a baby with me. I won't tell him. I won't tell anyone. Not even Amy and Olivia? No. 
Even though Go Girls always do full disclosure. That's the rest of you, not me. Yeah. And it's annoying, even though it is kind of good. And you can talk. Well, I did feel bad, and now I feel better. It's not just my secret anymore. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. They say love hurts, and it's true. Sometimes it does. But not if you just like chill. Everyone should just chill. This is extraordinary. Talking to you has really cheered me up. Yeah. We need music. No. Oh, God, honestly. I haven't felt like this in years. I almost feel like I'm... Jane's special muffins for the pain. No, I, I gave up marijuana years ago. No, 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 you don't understand. It has an unusual effect on me. Myself for the headache. Looks that could kill us tonight. You do what you can. How about that? In the face Nothing. of affection, cool. you shun your potential. I'm to try and book some stuff in LA as well. On the way back. Uh huh. But I should shut up now. I'm meant to be having a breather. Sorry. Jolie. I... I don't think I want to go to New York. What? I, I don't think that I Yeah, no, 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 I heard you. Look, this is our chance at the States. Look, don't do this. We've made plans. We can't just it give up. It was meant to be fun, and now it's not. You know what? Let's, let's not have this conversation right now. Well, we have to have it sometime. Look, I, I think I want to leave the band. You what? I just don't think it's where I want to no, be no, no, anymore. No, 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 don't, don't talk this. This is all about your old man. You realize that, don't you? I don't want to diss a dead guy, but he's a bit of a knob. Screw you. Hey, he was. And he's got you so messed up that you want to sabotage the best thing that's ever happened. Not the best thing. This is crap. You, you're acting like a sulky kid. It's dumb, Liv. I'm not letting you do it. Also, my father's not allowed to tell me what to do, but you are? I was right about that drink. Hey! Another round? Uh, I better go rescue Hero from my family. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, yeah, bugger off. What's with her? Oh, shit sticks, Kevin. What about him? Well, it's my turn to go and look after him. Well, one drink first? Lita was meant to take lunch and she didn't go. Amy will kill us. Bye. Lord Gatonic, thanks. This is just what I needed, a good blowout. Yeah. But you know what else I need right now? Spring rolls. No, 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 chocolate biscuits, these French. In my very extensive experience, pot and love making go together, like rum and coke or fish and chips. Mm. Rain. Would it be so wrong? On every level, yes, yes, yes. So very wrong. We're both grown-ups, and it's the most natural thing. Oh, shit. Must stop this immediately. Must stop. Cody! Oh, hey, how's it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bringing kids some spring rolls. Oh, the old barn can. Can't believe that place is still going. It's a legend. I bought him some DVDs. Yeah? Uh, yeah, all right, doofus, be there soon as. Possum, locked out the house. Oh, do you need a lift? 
Roman, Ben, Kat, yes, you can. Yes. Delivery. Yes. Ah! Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Balls. Don't stop. <laughs> oh, oh, we, we should need to go. Oh, you don't have to go. The more the merrier. But you're not welcome, Brad. Where were we? Rooted, I think, is where we were. Jan's right. It's the sleep deprivation. Sure, it's not creepy bread. Sometimes I think it would have been better if I'd just been knocked up by some random at 15 like the rest of my family. Maybe I wouldn't be such a mess right now. You're not a mess. <laughs> yes, I am. I don't even know where my baby is. Nan took her for a walk down to the tacker. What? Apparently she's a good luck charm on the pokies. <laughs> it's probably true. You're not a mess. You're a wonderful mother and a flame-haired goddess. <laughs> Leo, <laughs> you're just trying to have sex with me because you feel sorry for me. Who would do something like that? Some people. Well, if I can comfort you in any way. You have been so patient. Not really that patient. Yes, and kind. And such a good friend. <sighs> the F word again. With benefits. Okay. I'm so sorry for dumping all my stuff on you. <sighs> Me too. Just living together, playing in a band together, planning a wedding together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you think it's a bit much? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chill on this wedding thing. Sorry? Concentrate on the music and get ourselves to NYC. What? No. We agreed that something's got to give. And... Yeah, I'm leaving the band. What? That doesn't make sense. I want to marry you for once. I, I actually want to marry someone. I love you. No, if that were true, you wouldn't be doing this to me. Oh, my God. Since I was 11 years old, the only thing that I've ever wanted to do is play music. Joel! And now I finally get this close, and you just want to just chuck it all the way? You can still play, and I'll still be a journalist, which is what I want, and it has nothing to do with... No, 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 no. We work, OK? We spark. By myself, I'm just another dickhead with a guitar. I might as well go back to driving taxis. Is that what you want? Shit's sake, Olivia. I was there for you when you needed me. And I needed you. You mean when I had cancer? I didn't ask you to be there. You wouldn't take no for an answer. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry about that. Look, don't do this. Don't make this all about the band. Uh, well, about the band? You knew what you were signing up for. I... Actually, I didn't know if I was going to live to see Christmas that year. If I'd known it was going to be like what, this, you, you wouldn't have settled? I, I didn't say that. You know what? You didn't have to say that. Wow. 
Don't walk out. Talk to me. Excuse me. You have to go think about it. Also, it was the drugs that made me do it. It was the drugs that made me do it. Crap, crap, all I'm so dead. Bye. Here we go. Barn can, extra spring rolls. Oh, sweet. Uh, yes. We're not going to talk about it. Ah, uh, Kev. What? Is that the league? Yeah. On your coats. You're not like the other chicks. Oh, mate, i, I got to ask. About what? Are you supposed to drink beer? Nah, but I will. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, because if we never talk about it, then maybe it never happened. How the hell could you root Fran McMahon? Shit. Can we please not talk about it? Well, I don't really want to talk about it, but the picture is in my head. Well, I was completely wasted, OK? I was body stoned. And she jumped you? Yeah, kind of. She's her grandmother, Kevin. Oh, I was not thinking about that coat. You weren't. I know, I'm a shit. I'm a great... Big... And you've collected the set. Hey? Eh? Britta, her sister and her mum. You've shagged them all. Oh, shit. <laughs> Better warn Jan and Nan they could be next on your hit list. Can we stop now? <laughs> Pretend it never, ever yeah, happened. Yeah, 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 OK. Fine with me. Mm. Because Britta can never know. Dude, Britta can never know. You are a drug pusher and a lawbreaker. You should be ashamed of yourself. Nobody made you eat my special muffins. I gave up all recreational drugs when I started my career, and now you've pushed me off the wagon. Oh, what's the harm in it? So you lined up for a change. You know how I used to get on marijuana. Like a bitch on heat, if I recall. It's an allergic reaction. Ah, but who did she react to, is the question. Nobody. She was in Kevin's all afternoon, so unless she stopped and picked up someone at the traffic lights again and... Uh, she was at Kevin's. <gasps> Fran! Oh, poor wee Kevin. There's only a few bones left by now. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Here. Yeah. What's it worth to keep quiet? Oh, I will not be blackmailed. What's going on? Rand's finally over Joffrey. She's moved on to someone new. Ten dollars. Really? Who? No. At least this one's nice and young. He's not about to pop his clogs. <sighs> quiet. Both of you. Mm, you better watch your step, though, because she is the Black Widow. Marty, Don, Jeffrey. Oh, dear. You better tell Kevin to look both ways before he crosses the road. What? Oh, no. Mum, you didn't! Oh, yes, she did. She did a Mrs. Robinson on oh, Kevin! <laughs> Breakfast, not the smartest. No, I'm cool with it. Britta was supposed to come around and get me something to eat, but she's not here. Maybe she forgot. Or maybe she found out I banged her mother yesterday. Or maybe she found out you banged her mother yesterday. Hey? I'm kidding, Kev. I haven't said a word to anyone. Yeah, you're not, it's Cody. And you're safe. That's not! Hi. Hi. I'd better get back to work. Why? What, what's work? The new bar. Are you working a bar? But I'm opening one. Serious? Free drinks? Well, actually, we're gonna sell them. <laughs> See you, Kev. Britta. Please don't start on about how he's changed and what a bastard he is. Kevin, I know what happened yesterday. How about that bread, eh? He's changed, too. We can't ignore this, Kevin. 
My mother is a menace and sex crazed and selfish and I am very sorry that she happened to you. Hey, she's apologising. Is this a trick? If I hadn't been angsting over stupid Brad, then I would have been here looking after you. Red, I'm the one who's sorry, eh? And stupid. So stupid. Uh, okay. Please uh, don't tell Amy. Uh, huh? Please, please don't tell Amy. Amy knows what my mother is like. Our very first play date when we were six, me and Amy came home to find my mother entertaining two gentlemen calls. Britta! I'm in love with her. With my mother? But you can't be. <sighs> oh. You mean Amy. And she said she pretty much feels the same way about me, eh? Oh, Kim. You and Amy are finally going to be together. <laughs> And you did that with my mother? Kevin! Ugh, how could you be so stupid? Because I like to flush my own happiness down the bog, over and over. Might be okay, Kev. I won't tell Amy, I swear. Really? She doesn't need to know. And I am excellent at keeping secrets. Uh, no, you kind of not. These days? <laughs> I really, really am. Trust me. Thanks, Brits. I really hope that you and Amy live happily ever after. Me too. Yeah. Maybe it'll be all right. I mean, just because love hurts doesn't mean it always has to end up badly, eh? You had an argument, darling. Everyone has arguments. For him, it's just all about the music, and I just... I don't want that anymore. Well, perhaps you need to compromise. That's what grown-up relationships are all about. You can't always get your own way. You make it sound like I'm the one being unreasonable here. Well, perhaps you are. What is this? Another report card? Sorry, I didn't mean that. This isn't about me or your father. It's about deciding if you want to be with Joel. And if the answer's yes, then... Sometimes you've just got to take the plunge, love. Mm. There's money for bills on the bench. I'm not even going to talk about this. You know what? Until last night, I never really thought about it. Whether or not I loved you. I love the stuff we do. I love the music. But do I love you enough without that? Turns out, no. Spring. 